In this example, we're going to use graphs and algebra to approximate the largest value of delta that satisfies the formal limit definition. And uh, the limit that we're looking at here is the limit as x goes to 2 of x cubed is equal to 8. And so as we're utilizing graphs to help us out here, uh, what we have is the uh, function y equals x cubed. So that function looks something like this. And the place in question is uh, x is equal to 2, or c is equal to 2. The x value that we're approaching is equal to 2. And uh, since this function is continuous, that really translates to what happens when you plug 2 into the function. Uh, 2 cubed is 8, so we're looking there at that uh, y value of 8. So the epsilon of 0.25 is a y distance. And so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be adding and subtracting uh, that epsilon. And of course, you know, I'm not really to scale here, but it's just to give us an idea of what's happening here. So we'd have the 8.25 above the 8, and we'd have the 7.75 below the 8. And those would be the um, y values that we need to then go back and trace down to see what x values they go to or which x values they correspond to. So getting this uh, set up graphically should help us be able to set up the problem algebraically. And so what we're really wanting to be able to find so we can even assess what these distances are is we need to figure out which x values go with the y values 8.25 and 7.75. So uh, we'll just do that. We've got uh, We'll do the smaller one here. 7.75 is equal to the function um, x cubed. See, the y value would be an output value. And so our function values are uh, output values, and our function there is x cubed. And we want to know what x is. Um, we would also set this for the, uh, the larger value there, the, uh, the l plus the epsilon. So we'd have the 8.25 is equal to the x cubed as well. And so notice when you're setting these up, um, the algebra that's going to be required to solve them is going to be identical because we're just looking at the function being set equal to two different numbers. So the algebra for both of these, to get rid of a cube, we have to cube root. And so we're really looking at x being equal to the cube root of 7.75 and x being equal to the cube root of 8.25. So now here I don't know what those values are. I mean, I can put them into a calculator to get an approximation, and really you should be you should be using a calculator for these particular homework type problems uh, that are using more realistic small values of epsilon. And so um, I'll just go ahead and let you know that uh, the cube root of 7.75 is approximately 1.97895. And I kept a lot of decimal places because often these distances are going to be pretty close together. And so we want to keep enough uh, decimal places to be able to distinguish the two distances in the end. So we've got uh, the first x approximation, the cube root of 8.25 would be the second approximation, and that would be 2.02062 is the approximation there. Notice that um, when we traced back from the 7.75, we did in fact get something smaller than 2 to the left of 2. And when we trace back from 8.25 on the y-axis, we got something slightly bigger than 2, um, so to the right of 2. And so uh, those values have nothing, or those aren't our delta values. Those are our x values. But see, delta is what we're looking for, and delta is a distance, um, a small x distance. And so the way that we can assess what the distances are is, of course, we're going to have to subtract. Um, certainly, you want these to be positive distances, so we're going to have the larger value 2 minus the 1.97895. And uh, that distance there is going to then be um, 0 0.02105, okay? In comparison, uh, we've got the larger value 2.02062, subtract the 2, and then so we just drop the 2 there from the front. So it's 0 0.02062. Okay. So now those are the two values that we're looking at. They're our candidates for delta. And now... Looking back to what the problem's asking, it says find, approximate the largest value delta. Don't let the word largest um, mislead you. Remember what we're doing here. We are trying to keep 
um, inside the vertical strip on our graph so that it would trace back to being inside the horizontal strip um, on the y-axis because we want to stay within epsilon of 8 on the y-axis. And so what this is telling me here is um, looking at my two distances there, my smaller distance is this one right here. The smaller distance is the one that goes from 2 to the 2.02062. Um, and so when we're looking at this symmetric interval, on the left-hand side, we can't, I mean, my, of course, my picture doesn't look very symmetrical. Let's work on it slightly. When I have that symmetrical interval around 2, the left-hand side doesn't go all the way to the x value that we had. Um, but we need to we need to not surpass the vertical bar. That's why we don't pick the largest distance. We actually have to pick the smallest distance so that we can stay completely in that vertical bar. So there, our delta is going to be um, the 0 0.02062 is our approximation for delta that would um, satisfy the formal definition of the limit for this for this limit.